Hello, everyone. It's Bishop O'Connell, and I want to talk to you today to visit with you in school and to speak for a few minutes, if I might. You may have heard a lot of conversation about something that's going on in our Catholic Church these days. It's called a synod. Have you heard about it yet? A synod is a special gathering of bishops. The word synod comes from a Greek term that literally means a common road or path. Bishops from all over the world come to Rome to talk to the Pope about something that he thinks is very important. They share opinions and ask and answer questions and basically give him their best advice. Their meetings in Rome last about a month. That's a lot of time to be away from their dioceses. So that tells you how important the Pope and the bishops think a synod is. Synods are not new to the Catholic Church. They've been around through the centuries, since actually the second century. In 1965, Pope St. Paul VI made synods a regular, permanent part of the life of the Catholic Church. Since then, popes have called synods to discuss with the bishops important topics. Some examples are these. Catholic faith, the priesthood, religious education, the role of bishops, the Holy Eucharist, the Bible, the family, vocations to the priesthood, the work of the Catholic Church in various parts of the world, challenges the Catholic Church faces today, and so on. These are all very important topics. This year, on April 24th, Pope Francis announced a synod of bishops for the Catholic Church. Now, it was originally supposed to be held next year, but because of the pandemic, it had to be moved forward, so it will end in 2023. Pope Francis decided that he wanted the whole church to be involved, not just the bishops. So he asked that the church begin the work of the synod in each diocese this year, in each country next year, and finally with a meeting of the bishops in 2023. The Pope has taken as his theme synodality, communion, participation, and mission. Now I'll tell you what that means shortly. But rather than just one topic and one event, the Pope wanted the whole world, all Catholics, to think and talk about the way the Catholic Church thinks and talks today, and the way it listens, and the way it acts, the process, and that's what synodality is, the process. He wanted to hear from and listen to the whole Catholic Church. Now, that's a huge task, as you can imagine. But think about it this way. Compare it to your school. Say the principal. principal wants to learn what and how the whole student body thinks in order to make the school better, stronger, and more important to everybody. So, the principal asks everybody to get involved and develops a way, a process, to do that. And well, that's not an easy task. Now, think of that process for your whole parish. It's even harder. Then think of the whole diocese and every diocese throughout the whole world. That kind of process, what he calls synodality, that is what the Pope is looking for. Even he says it won't be easy. He knows that. What he wants is for all Catholics to listen to one another. He calls this process of synodality journeying together on this common road or path called synod. Now let's go back to the theme the Pope has chosen, synodality. He believes that synodality is the way of the future, the way the Catholic Church needs to exist in this third millennium. We need to journey on this common road together. This road is called a synod, and our journey is one that involves everyone in the church. He describes the goal of the synod as communion, being together. It begins with the word of God, the scriptures, the Bible. Communion, as he uses that term, requires that we listen to the word of God and what the Holy Spirit is saying to us and to one another as a community of faith. We each have been baptized in a sacrament that brings us into the Catholic Church. And then we receive other sacraments, especially penance, 
and Holy Eucharist to strengthen and support our faith. In addition to communion, he calls us to participation, getting involved together, not just letting our faith in the Catholic Church pass us by. He encourages us then to mission, to putting our faith into practice in the world, to do something together as members of the Catholic Church. All of this, Pope Francis tells us, requires encounter, a word that means meeting, meeting God in our lives along with one another, and listening, not arguing or debating about this or that, teaching or rule, discerning, figuring out what our faith really means. Here in the Diocese of Trenton, we have begun the first part of the Synod at Mass in the Cathedral. For all of us in Mercer, Burlington, Monmouth, and Ocean Counties, the Diocesan Synod has begun and will continue until April of next year. The Catholic Church, your church, needs you to be involved, young people, you need to show that you are part of the Catholic Church, not only some future day, but right now. The Synod is not just for older generations. It's for you. It includes you. And the Catholic Church wants to hear from you, to listen to you as you think about and talk about and live your faith. And so I, as your bishop, hope you will get involved in your religion classes and outside of school, in your families and parishes throughout the Diocese of Trenton, in your prayer, and in your conversations. So, to help, I want to suggest some questions for you to think about personally and to provide a basis for discussion in your religion class. So here they are. First, how do you experience God right now? What does your faith mean to you as a young person right now? How can the Catholic Church help you to live your faith? Thanks so much for listening to me. I encourage you to listen to your classmates, your teachers, your friends, your family, and parish priests. You know, as students in our Catholic schools throughout the diocese, you are in my prayers every single day. May God bless you always.